Hey guys, what's up? Epic Blargman here, and today this will be a different video from the normal. So today I'll actually be reviewing the MD Sports foldable gaming table as well as Yellow Mountain Imports Japanese Reach Mahjong set. So to unfold the MD Sports table, it's actually pretty easy. So all you gotta do is go behind it and there's like this U-shaped bar. You pull it downwards and you push down up here and it folds out. Very, very simple. So I believe this table weighs around 33 pounds. So it does have some weight to it. You do have to assemble it out of the box. It's actually very easy to assemble once you figure out where each part goes. Um, they do provide a visual manual to make things easier, and they give you the tools needed to put the legs together, such as the screws, the spacers, the washers, and they give you an Allen key and a wrench. So, yeah, I spent around $54 on this table. I actually bought it off a Walmart site. They had it on eBay, but they were charging much more for it. I actually love the velvet feeling of this table. Like It feels more like a uh, billiard table. The plywood is actually nice too, and the table, like I said before, folds out very easily. But my two favorite things have to be the drawers and the cup holders. Basically, there are four drawers in total, one on each side. As for the cup holders, there are four cup holders on each side that hold two drinks each. So the drawers actually slide out very easily. They close and open up very easily. You can store your poker chips, your mahjong bedding sticks in these drawers or anything else you'd really like. The cup holders, like I was showing, rotate out. And you know, they rotate out very easily. And basically when you're putting it together, you basically have to snap it in. It's actually very easy once you start uh, putting it together. So these cup holders are basically able to hold bottles, soda cans, pretty much anything you'd want. So these cup holders actually hold the drinks safely, believe it or not. I've put cans and bottles in these cup holders and they don't tilt over, they don't bend, they don't spill the drink out or anything. The only time it would probably spill or tilt is if you know you whack the drink over with your hand or if you just like hit the, the cup holder really hard or something like that. And you can also take these cylinders and the cup holders out, which are these silver things right here to basically accommodate like a bigger drink I guess. So the reason I bought this table was to replace my portable mahjong mat I got. See I got a portable mahjong mat. I liked it for a while but me and my friends had to play on the floor. We had no place to play. Uh, but now we don't have this problem anymore once I got this table. So yeah, a little bit of backstory is I actually got into Mahjong, I think maybe three months back. I was never into the game, nor was I actually ever interested in the game until I watched this anime called Akagi Mahjong Legend. It's actually written by Nobuyuki Fukumoto, the same guy who wrote Kaiji. And I enjoyed the anime so much that it actually inspired me to get into Mahjong, something I thought I'd never would ever see me getting into. But yeah, when I saw this table, I had to get it because it's perfect. It's a million times better than that Mahjong mat that I got. And I spent the same price on that Mahjong mat that I spent for this table. The Mahjong mat was $54. This was also $54. Funny thing is too, I've actually gotten my friends into Mahjong as well. Everyone's taking it very slowly because, you know, the game is very complex. And personally, for me, from my experience, I know the basics. Uh, I'm still learning new things every once in a while. I mean, the game is just crazily, like, complex. Like, I have trouble learning the scoring system. Like, the scoring system is probably, like, the hardest. And trying to memorize all the hands is, like, basically what I call it in a nutshell. What I call Mahjong in a nutshell is 
poker on steroids, that's what I call it. But yeah, guys, overall, if you're into Mahjong or you just want a really good table to play gambling games on, I would personally recommend this table. It's awesome. I think it's worth the money. So now here is the second part of the review where I will be reviewing Yellow Mountain Imports Japanese Reach or Reachy, however you would like to pronounce it, Mahjong set. So here is the case. So a little background info, I bought this uh, Japanese Ricci Mahjong set off of Amazon for around $64. So like I showed, it comes in this small leather boxed case with a carrying handle, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually like this case a lot, but let's open it up. So this set comes with 144 tiles that are in these four trays. I can take this tray out, but these are the four trays right here. So I move this over here. And it also comes with four dice which are in this tray right here. And it comes with, as you can see, a ton of bedding sticks, as well as the East Wind Tessera for determining the seat placement. The tiles themselves are very well made. Since this is the Japanese variant, they aren't as huge as the Chinese variant, but I actually prefer the smaller tiles personally. Oops, one fell out. <laughs> So these tiles are made out of scratch-resistant melamine. They have this uh, hard texture feel to them. It gives them some sort of weight. It's actually really cool. So overall, if you guys are looking for a solid Japanese Reach Mahjong set, I personally get this one. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed my double review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.